Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. So Capricorn, I'm going to pull on some general energy for you. Remember everything is not going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also Capricorn, like this video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. These messages are timeless so whenever you click on this video that is when they could resonate with you the most. If you would like distance Reiki healing or personal reading, the information is below in the description box. So let's jump right into it and see what is going on with you. Spirit, give me some energy for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Ooh. I have courage. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So I feel like for some of you, you're being very bold. You're stepping outside of your comfort zone. Um, ready to embark upon a new path. I'm hearing a wonderful change. So I feel like for a lot of you things are really shifting in your life you're going through a lot of major transitions and you're learning how not to fear these changes i heard sudden for some of you these have been sudden changes but you're being you were able to maneuver you were able to learn how to you know go with the flow how to you know ride the storm at the bottom of the deck i have Loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. So for some of you, you could be in hermit energy right now, just wanting to be um, by yourself. I'm also getting the energy, like for some of you, you may be getting ready to connect with your soul tribe. I also see you doing something to help others. For some of you, you could be working with men or women. Um, just really meeting a group of people that are very like-minded. For some of you, you could be a part of a support group. But yeah, I feel like you're just really taking a lot of time for yourself to, I'm not appropriate, okay? So for some of you, um, you may be trying to conceive, have a child. I'm also hearing give birth. But I feel like whatever it is that's going on in your life, I heard closeted. So it's like you are keeping it to yourself. You're not letting a lot of people know what's going on with you. Like you're literally in harmony. I heard like hush. So yeah, you're being quiet. You're keeping things on the low. Let's get another energy. Spirit, give me another message for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Overall energy. And also going back to procreate for some of you, I feel like there's something that you you are invested into giving me in, empress vibes. It's like some type of creative project. Like you're in a season where you're building, you're planting seeds, you're building, um, you're cultivating a brand new beginning for yourself, Capricorn. Spirit, give me some more messages for Capricorn. Ooh, what is this? Calmness. It says, the inner divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then stay quiet, my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over me. Exactly. You're learning how to be peaceful, how to maintain your peace through the storm. I'm hearing um, Kirk Franklin, the storm is over now. Yeah, you are coming out of a very difficult time. I'm hearing like rough winds, like it was just a lot going on around you. It was like, you know, a tornado, like things were just picked up and moved and thrown this way and that way. And it's like, whoa, what is this? Like you didn't know what was going on around you, but you were still able to have peace throughout whatever it was you were experiencing. At the bottom of the deck, I have independence. It says, the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. So I feel like for some of you, you're definitely doing a lot of inner child healing, detaching, learning how to um, take more control of your life. Let's go ahead and get into some tarot. Spirit, give me some messages for Capricorn. 
messages for Capricorn. What would you like Capricorn to know? And I'm also getting like with this independence, I'm hearing free. So I feel like by you being independent, by you just learning how to be more self-reliant, resilient, it's giving you a huge sense of freedom. Like you're just learning um, the importance of doing for self. And not having to rely on another person for your happiness. I'm also getting financial freedom. For some of you, you're going to have financial freedom. Be financially independent. Um, I heard status. I feel like your status is getting ready to change when it comes to your stability. I'm also hearing level up. So Capricorn, you are literally getting ready to level up. I have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you stopped investing into a situation. You stopped giving. Um, no longer planting seeds. Tell me more for Capricorn. Give me messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Oh, okay. I have the Fool in the reverse. The Seven of Wands. So for some of you, I feel like you're holding back. You're no longer investing into situations um, that you feel like really it's not going to produce the results that you want. Like with the seven of wands, I feel like you're connecting more to yourself. You're really protecting your energy. Let's get one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for Capricorn. Okay, Spirit said too. All right. I have the page of swords. So for some of you, you are learning something new. Again, I heard cultivating. Yeah, you're studying. Um, I heard abroad for someone. You could be studying abroad. But it's like not only, you know, are you learning something new when it comes like to your studies or some type of endeavor, but you're learning yourself. Like you're discovering new things about yourself. And I'm just looking at the birds. Like you're definitely being guided guided to embrace this new identity i heard new you you're being open to new experiences gathering information i heard akashic records for some of you you could be tapping into your akashic records and then I have the star in the reverse, Aquarius energy. So let's go ahead and clarify. I feel like with the star in the reverse, like I feel like there could have been someone around you or particular people that tried to dim your light, tried to take you off your path. Yes. There is someone who tried to take you off your path, Capricorn. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for Capricorn. Oh, tarot reading. Someone has gotten a reading done. So for some of you, um, I feel like there's somebody who's been trying to like dig up information on you. But it's like whatever they've been trying to dig up, like they haven't been able to find anything. Like it hasn't been working. Like whatever they've been trying to find, it's like they've been coming up into empty handed. They're not getting the results that they were seeking. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about tarot reading for Capricorn. The Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy. You know what, Capricorn? Somebody has been trying to find out your destiny. Someone has been doing research, possibly through tarot readings. Y'all heard psychic. Yeah, somebody's been trying to find out about your destiny, but it's hidden. Whoever they've been going to, whatever they've been trying to do to find out about your destiny, what's coming in for you, what blessings you're going to be getting, that information has been blocked. 
this person or these people do not have access to your destiny and I'm getting with this seven of cups like this person has tried multiple things multiple different routes to get this information but nothing has worked seven of pentacles in the reverse they cannot see your destiny they do not have access they have been blocked access has been denied tell me about the fool in the reverse Spirit, tell me about the fool in the reverse for Capricorn. Purify. Purify your energy and aura. So, yeah, I feel like you're in the energy of cleansing. You're clearing out a lot of old, dead weight. I'm with the fool. I feel like you're not trying to take any leaps of faith. You're not trying to really explore anything new. You're playing it safe. I feel like you're just working with, with you are what you already have. You're not open to any um, anything new, any new experiences at this time. You're just really working on you. And I heard healing. Like for some of you, you're doing a lot of healing at this time. Tell me more about the four in the reverse. Shook. This information or the situation may leave you shook. I heard come after you. So I feel like people, whoever tried to come after you or come for you, Capricorn, like this person can no longer do that or these people can no longer do that. I feel like whatever this person has found out or discovered about you, like it was really shocking. Like, again, they didn't get the information or the news that they thought they were going to get. I feel like you're just focusing on yourself and you're just healing and you're just working on you. For some of you, I feel like these people or this person, like, it's surprised that, like, you didn't fight back with the fool in the reverse. You just allow whatever happened to happen and you and you stood your ground by not entertaining the foolery. You held back. And that's what people are shocked about. They thought you were going to war with them. But you didn't. You maintain. There it is. You maintain your composure. Because you are pure. You are a pure energy. Somebody wanted to take you out of character. Let's get some more energy. Spirit tell me about Purify. For Capricorn. Tell me about purified. <laughs> I can't make this up. The five of wands. There was competition. There was a lot of competition, a lot of jealousy, envy around you. But again, you remain composed. You still stayed in your healing energy. You did not engage. You let them fight amongst each other. For some of you, by you not engaging, they ended up turning on each other. They ended up having conflict with one another. Because they didn't have anyone else to have conflict with. So they turned on each other. Tell me about Shook. For Capricorn. Tell me about Shook for Capricorn. What do I have? Ooh, the tower. Oh, yes. A lot of people are going through a, a lot of unexpected changes. And it's just one thing after another. Like, people are experiencing a lot of upheaval in their life. Yeah. It's like where you have moved on from the situation to a wands, you're focusing on yourself, choosing a different path, like they're going through it. Like I feel like with this Shook, they never thought that they would be receiving karma. They never thought that they would be going through the things that they are experiencing. Like they are shocked that they're going through so much, that you know they're experiencing a lot of changes. Getting a lot of, I heard, bad news. One thing after another is never ending. Like, they wake up and they wake up to bad news. They wake up to 
you know, maybe I heard car problems. Like somebody could be experiencing car trouble. Like literally throughout their day, they hear something bad. I heard on the hour. So every hour, almost every hour of the day, there's something happening. It doesn't matter how minute it is. Like they're not getting the results they want when it comes to situations in their life. And this is a continual, um, what is the word I'm looking for? This is a continual process for these people. Like it doesn't stop. It don't end. It don't quit. It, it's just, it's going. I'm getting like they're in the flow of things. That's what Spirit is telling me. They're in the flow of their karma. So it's just like it's just going. Like that train keeps on going. Like it ain't stopping. It ain't making no stops. It ain't letting nobody off. They're going to just have to stay on that train until God says so. Until God says it's done. But right now, they're going through a lot of shakeups. And they wasn't expecting it. See, they wanted you to be experiencing a lot of chaos and drama in your life. But it's like, no, now they are experiencing what they wanted you to experience, what they wanted you to have. And they shook and they're scared because they're like, they don't know where this coming from because, you know, just about, you know, maybe two weeks ago or six months ago or whatever, a year ago, everything was fine. And then they woke up one day and everything had no change. And when it first started, they probably didn't think nothing of it. But the thing is, it's not stopping. It keep on going. So now they scared because like, whoa. Because maybe something small happened one day. And it was like, oh, you know, it's life. Things happen. And then the next day something happened. And then the next day something happened. And now they're like, hold up. What is this? I heard fell into karma. Yeah, these people are getting their just due. You're getting your justice for whatever this was. Clarifying the seven of wands is behind the scenes. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see. Come on. I was. J there are things happening that you cannot see. People are going through it. People are experiencing a lot of loss. For some of you, the loss of a home, job, again, car. I heard tragedy. People are going through it. And you sitting over here in this calm energy focused on yourself, healing, protected, highly protected. And they over here going through chaos, delays. It's like you don't know this because you're removed. God removed you from the situation. So you don't even know what's going on. And they looking at you like, hold up. Where is Capricorn? Capricorn over here focused on thyself. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have projection. Your life is a projection of the energy you are putting out. Exactly. Whatever you put out, you get back. And so whatever this person or these people put out, they're getting it back. And whatever you put out, you're getting back. And so since you were in a healing energy and agent of peace, you are getting back peace. And I'm also hearing blessings on blessings. You were a blessing. And this person or these people didn't see it. You came into their life to enlighten them, to help them grow. I heard North Node to help them move into their North Node. But I heard accepted. They didn't accept it. They rejected it. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about behind the scenes for Capricorn. What do I have? The Empress in the Reverse. The Six of Pentacles. I feel like with this Empress in Reverse, I heard somebody's been knocked off their throne. Somebody's been knocked off their throne. For some of you, this could be a Taurus or a Libra, but that's literally what I heard. Somebody's been knocked off their throne. Somebody's in lack. Somebody's stuck. 
in mental bondage. Somebody can't see their way out. Somebody's also crying a lot. Somebody's also crying over spilled milk. They're in deep regret. Somebody's in lack. Somebody's going through a struggle financially. Tell me more about this Empress in the reverse for Capricorn. Ooh, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So someone is pregnant. This Knight of Wands energy, this fire sign could have got someone pregnant. But whoever this person got pregnant, like this energy isn't a good mom. This energy don't take care of their responsibilities. This energy don't take care of their child or children. This energy can be very lazy codependent, manipulative. They don't take care of what they need to take care of. Tell me more about the Empress. Behind the scenes, Capricorn, God is telling you what's going on behind the scenes. Tell me about this Empress in the reverse. But you're protected. Tell me about the Empress in the reverse. What do I have? The King of Wands. So yeah, somebody was definitely dealing with a fire sign. The star. Someone could have walked away from you to go back to someone from their past. Someone made a decision to walk away from you and go back to someone from their past and gave them a love offer. But now this person is trying to leave. Aquarius energy, the star, this is you, Capricorn, healing. You are the healer. Somebody walked away from you to go back to someone from their past. They made a decision to give a love offer. And now this person is trying to leave. They're trying to get away. But whoever they're trying to get away from, this person is doing magic. This person is doing spell work, is manipulating. A very manipulating energy. I'm also getting this person wants to win at all costs. Tell me more about this King of Wands. And if this Empress is not like the mother of someone's child, then this is just a low vibrational female. Like all four queens in the reverse, the five of pentacles. So this King of Wands energy is now going through it financially. They're suffering. They have taken a huge loss. They are in the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they were manipulated by a Queen of Wands in the reverse. Someone who's very lazy, who's not a go-getter, who wants things handed to them. Who doesn't know how to create. Who doesn't know how to build anything. This person was manipulated. And then I'm getting with this three of cups. This queen of wands in reverse wasn't working by herself. She was working with a group of people. A group of friends. So they all manipulated this masculine energy. 
I heard addiction. This masculine energy could have had a sex addiction. And they knew that. They manipulated this person to get money. And now this energy is in the five of pentacles. And the moon, yeah, it's like everything has come out. Everything has been exposed. The plan. They plotted against this person. And now this person is burdened. They're struggling. They're going through it. Tell me about projection for Capricorn. The two of swords. So somebody's confused. Tell me more about projection for Capricorn. The two of pentacles, four of swords, ten of cups. Somebody could be losing their marriage. Somebody could be going through a divorce. Somebody could have found out that their partner was juggling them, cheating. Yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce. Tell me more about this two of swords. The five of cups in the reverse. Tell me more about the Five of Cups in the reverse. The Five of Cups in the reverse for Capricorn. Okay, what is this? The Ten of Swords in the reverse, everything is fine, the Page of Swords. So someone is spreading rumors and lies. With this, everything is fine. Like somebody could have betrayed you, Capricorn. I heard falsehood. So with false rumors. This person is confused by the fact that you're not bothered by these rumors. What's being spread about you. That's what this person is confused about. Like you didn't let it get to you. This person wanted you to feel defeated, but it didn't work. Whatever they tried to do. Tell me about... The Two of Pentacles for Capricorn. Give me an energy on the Two of Pentacles for Capricorn. The Star in the Reverse. So someone juggled you. I heard... Someone juggled the wrong person. They juggled a healer. Somebody who's very balanced. Somebody did something too fast. I heard caution. Somebody wasn't cautious. Now the truth is out. This person could have chosen a queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody who's very emotionally unstable. Tell me more about the two of pentacles. Strength. Aquarius Leo energy. Ah. This person tried to have people confused about you, Capricorn, about who you are. Yeah. This person wanted to paint a picture that wasn't real. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Yeah, someone tried to have people confused about you and about who you are. What do I have? The Page of Wands, Four of Swords. Justice in reverse. Okay, so somebody stressed about a pregnancy. Somebody stressing out about a child that is on the way. Somebody's not that far along either. Like they could be like in their um, first or second trimester. Cause this person is married. 
And when this news come out, they know that this is going to end in a, in a divorce. The Ten of Cups in the reverse, Justice in the reverse. Yeah. Let's get some energy for the Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Four of Wands, yeah. Somebody is married. Somebody is in a higher level commitment. They live with somebody and they have a child. And like I said, if they're pregnant, they're not that far along. And when this come out, this is going to be the end of this relationship. Give me some energy on the page of swords. Someone could also be moving in together as well. Somebody is leaving their spouse to be with somebody else. Whoever this person is going to be with, this person is much younger. They're like a younger man, a younger woman. But somebody's leaving a relationship, a marriage. They're walking out to go be with somebody else. They're moving in. They're going to establish a connection with someone else. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Temperance and the Hang One in the reverse. So Capricorn, this can have to do with the Sagittarius, Three of Swords at the bottom, a third party situation. Somebody could have acted out of haste. Didn't take their time, didn't really do their research, didn't get to learn, you know, the situation, everybody that was involved. Let's clarify temperance. Tell me about temperance. Somebody's also an earth angel. Somebody's very healing. Like I said, Capricorn, you're very healing. We have the star temperance here. You're very healing. Connected to the Most High. Very balanced. Tell me about temperance. You're the truth. Look at God. God just said you're the truth. You are the truth. Page of Swords, Temperance, Ace of Swords. You're the truth. I heard you are a seer. You can see. I heard spiritual gifts like many waters. You have many spiritual gifts. For some of you, you may work very well with the element of water. Somebody wants to bring you a love offer. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Somebody wants to start over. Somebody want to ask you out. This could have been somebody that put you in a third party situation. Somebody that walked away from you. But I feel like with the Six of Swords, this person may have somebody following them. Somebody chasing behind them. Wanting to have a relationship. Somebody stuck on this person. Can't get over this person. Tell me more about... The hang one in the reverse. The hierophant. Someone didn't take time to think things through. Somebody could have missed out on a connection. Could have lost a relationship, a marriage with the hierophant in the reverse. This could have something to do with the Taurus. Tell me more about the hierophant in the reverse. Ah, look at God. Capricorn. God just said that these people or this person didn't know who they were messing with they didn't think you were spiritually ranked or at least ranked high enough they didn't know your ranking so they did something in haste without doing their research 
they didn't know that you are the truth you are divine the hierophant and the reverse they didn't think you were connected the way that you are so they acted quickly they judged you there it is they judged you too fast they made a judgment call on you capricorn and it was the wrong judgment call and they did it too quickly without getting all of the facts and the information there it is for some of you this has to do with people that you work with three of pentacles a group of people this was a collab a whole you know just a whole charade tell me more about the star in the reverse for capricorn the star in the reverse for capricorn The seven of wands capricorn you're protected your destiny is protected i feel like with this six of cups in reverse somebody's trying to like dig up information on you from the past to ruin your reputation to you know yeah to ruin your reputation they're trying to dig up your past to ruin your reputation the way people see you but whatever they're trying to do like it's protected you are protected give me another message for the star in the reverse the six of swords somebody won't walk away like somebody keep on doing it somebody keeps digging up information somebody's like being led <laughs> being led right to that same dish that they dug for you uh, somebody's also experiencing like financial loss financial woes nine of pentacles in the reverse judgment yeah somebody's under judgment and, and their finances is being affected they're hearing a lot of bad news a lot of things you know that they're not expecting to hear Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Capricorn. The Knight of Cups. So you could have someone coming in again with a love offer. I feel like this person um misjudged you for some of you i'm getting like this is a friend who's trying to come in and make amends with you look at this page of cups this person trying to come in and make amends with you but look at her face looking like she don't mean it she does not mean it she just coming in because she up at night stressed out going through a lot of changes don't know what to do and may feel like if she come in and amend the situation with you then you know She'll stop going through what she's going through. But again, this is somebody who was competing with you, who wanted to create conflicts and delays in your life, who wanted to win at all costs. They wanted to block your forward movement. Tell me about the Six of Swords. But whatever this is, whoever's trying to come towards you, whether this is a friend or someone from your past that you were in a relationship with, it's blocked like this person can't come back like you're protected tell me about the six of swords in the reverse tell me about the six of swords in the reverse for capricorn seven look at that look at that seven of swords in the reverse so the truth is here. The truth is out. Or the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. And somebody's reputation is going to be ruined with the star in the reverse. This person could be an Aquarius. But the truth is out. And somebody's going to be very burdened. Judgment is here, Queen of Swords. Judgment is here. But some of you with the sun, this person could be a Leo. 
But yes, judgment is here. Things are being illuminated. The truth is out. Everybody's being exposed for who they are. So let's get some final messages. Spirit, give me a final message for Capricorn. Final messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. What do I have? Adult children. Okay, so for some of you, um, get some rest. Make sure if you have adult children, you're not taking on too much because get some rest is at the bottom. So for some of you, um, I heard like pull away. It's time for like your adult children to be responsible for themselves, for their life, Capricorn. Yeah, just make sure you're not um, overdoing it. I know, you know, that is your child or your children. You want to be there for them. But experience is the best teacher. I heard whatever fall, let it fall. They have to learn. That's a part of their growth. Just like you had to learn. Give me another energy for Capricorn. Some final messages. What do I have? End of an era. Yes. The conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion of the whole matter. For some of you, um, I heard 10 year cycle. So these people or this person is going to be going through a 10 year cycle. For some of you, you could have recently gotten out of a 10 year cycle, but there's definitely something very significant about the number 10. Capricorn, you could be seeing the number 1010. But somebody's coming out of a cycle and somebody else is going into a cycle. Give me one more message for Capricorn. One more message for Capricorn. Windfall. Oh, I heard abundance. So Capricorn, have you been having any issues with your money? Yeah, prepare for a windfall. And it's going to be very unexpected too. But you are going to be very stable, financially secure. I heard abundance. I heard abundance is your middle name. Let's get some more. Spirit, give me some more messages. For Capricorn. More energy for Capricorn. What do I have? Look at this Capricorn. Support is all around you. So yeah, Capricorn, despite what storm you have just came out of or that you are currently coming out of, it's like God wants you to know that support is all around you. You are protected. You don't have to worry. You may sway from side to side, but you will not be moved. You are ankle down. You are planted. You are solid. I'm hearing the song, um, Solid as a Rock. Give me one more message. One more message for Capricorn. What do I have? Let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. That's right. Don't dim your light. Regardless of who don't like it, who hating on you, who rolling their eyes, whatever. Let your light shine before others. Because you know what? Somebody else might not receive your light, Capricorn. But... I'm getting a gospel song, whosoever will, let them come. So whosoever will receive you, let them come. Everybody not going to receive you, and that's okay. Dust your feet off and move on. 
But whosoever will let them come, Capricorn, you are going to draw someone. Continue to shine. Don't dim your light for nobody. You're meant to shine bright. You are a healer, a natural born leader. God is going to raise you up. God's going to put you on a pedestal before others. God is going to make your enemies your footstool. Just continue to be you and shine bright. So Capricorn, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.